Welcome back to I don't know what are we welcoming people back to? I'm out of to I'm more out of, of this. Details. Have we? I haven't talked about that in a long time. That I made it my personal mission to never start an episode with "Welcome back to On the Branch" because I feel like the people already know they're welcome. You know, like they already know we're we're on the branch. Yeah, and... yeah, they already know that we're a show, and we don't need to say like "Welcome back" to name. But of the But that's the point that's right of being there. on a show is that you welcome them back to yeah, the show. Yeah, that's fair. But part of me is all oops. Part of me is also like, eh, like if you're marathoning these, do you really want to hear that every 10 or 15 minutes? I mean, the back of your brain just ignores it. Because like, that's probably true. What percentage of people uh, marathon versus versus daily? Watch us, da yeah, daily. Or maybe it's, they watch us daily tell. after the fact. They're just like, well, I'll wait till tomorrow to watch the episode. <laughs> <laughs> gotta gotta give it the gotta have the gotta classic give, experience, you know. Gotta have that ha watched it fresh experience of wait twenty four hours for it's the next like, episode. It's like the uh, well, well, kids. Now you have to wait. Now you're not allowed to watch the next Avengers movie for a year because I had to wait. That sort of deal. Yeah, you kids aren't allowed to. You, you've you've gotten everything. That the only thing that you can get this way is the Billy Mays room. Uh, there's no. There's two things. There's the Billy Mays room, and there's a check up and criteria that I haven't gotten either. What check up and criteria? Uh, the one that you need the speed booster for. Uh, can I? Yeah, thank you. Sure. I mean, if you want to go that way. Yeah, I'm gonna go that way and then come right back down. Okay. Okay. So. Uh... Oh gosh, we were just talking about it. Uh, it, it just it just eluded me. I had a whole tear to go off on. Um, yeah, I, I, when I was your age, I didn't have an iPhone, so you kids oh, aren't allowed yeah, yeah, to have yeah. technology. No, that's, that's a thing, I kind of, I kind of am playing with this idea, and I've been playing with it since I was, before I was even considering having kids, but it was always an, if I have kids, doing the time delay thing with, with, uh, technology. video games. Well, at least with video games, even if not all technology. So the, you know, you start out with, uh, you start out with an NES or a Commodore, and then we work you up, you know, just at an accelerated rate. So, like, after a year of playing video games, then we give you a Super Nintendo. And then now you're years. allowed to use yeah. the Super Nintendo. And then, and then you're allowed to play the 60, you know, the, the next era of video games. Just basically, like, open them up a Gating generation them. every year. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Could, could be interesting. Yeah, but then part of me also says, like, no, because you're going to make them miss out on experiences that their peers get to experience. I, I mean, as part of it depends on how young they get in, right? What, like what if, are they missing out if on? If they John? start out at age three, it's not. John, what are they missing out on? Fortnite. Minecraft. Are they gonna? Are they gonna like not learn how to dougie properly? Not and, know how to floss. Which, <laughs> what? Amy was very disappointed in us the other night. Oh, because we were all just like jokingly is, trying to floss. Is is this it? Am I doing it? I was doing it I don't sitting think down Amy a chair. Can even floss? Can Amy floss? I, I don't know. I would hope so. You're supposed to floss at least twice a day. <laughs> twice a day? I'm terrible. I floss like three times a week at best. Well, because I mean, you're also supposed to brush like two times a day at least. Three, yeah, some say three. They times say three, a day. but it's like you I get don't one. have a toothbrush at lunch. Yeah, yeah. Who has a toothbrush I, at work? I mean, some people have to, right? My like, dentist just says just keep doing what I'm doing. What I'm doing is great, which is flossing a few times a week. Uh, well, I don't. I when I'm doing when I'm on my best behavior, I'm flossing a few times a week and absolutely brushing every day. Once uh, it helps that I brush after breakfast that doesn't have sugar because my breakfast is just vegetables. So there's you know you can yeah. brush any time. You don't get that that low that easy to process sugar breakdown. You know what I'm talking about? Sure. So like what we consider call sugar sugar, you know, like sugar cane sugar or high fructose corn syrup. So it is a, it is a simpler molecule than the kinds of uh, sugars that are in vegetables or fruits. Fruits are uh, less complex sugars than vegetables. The more complex a sugar, the longer it takes for your system to break down. And in fact, the the sugar, like the, the simplest sugars can be broken down in your mouth, which is why you can absorb, you know, through your mouth or through, you know when you're when you're eating that's why you yeah. can suck on candy and still get that uh that's how like a lot of uh a lot of uh edible like edible weed works uh or some of them um like the, the suckers and stuff it's, so i've heard you're absorbing it under your tongue oh wow that sure was worth the trip well, I mean, and essentially you are digesting it too, right? So yeah, it's a for, well, it's a form of digestion. I think I think it's technically digestion. Even I don't know. Digestion via secretion. <laughs> we'll say. 
I don't know. Someone, someone will, someone in the comments will. Give hey, us weed an ex experts in the comments, uh, like, you comment, don't have subscribe. You're a weed expert. You just have to. Be okay, a... fine. Weed fucking numbskulls. I'm just saying, you just have to know like biology that you and I don't know. Uh, hey, Adam. <laughs> You're probably watching this. <laughs> And not just a random person named named Adam. We're talking about our friend Adam. Yeah, our who our, you may or may not have heard of occasionally if you've watched other series. Our our CBD nut that got you to try CBD and then CBD did, did nothing for your pain. I mean, it sort of did like a little bit, but it was like not enough because it's just it's too severe a pain. Oh, like okay. like the doctor prescribed me freaking Tylenol with fucking codeine, and that didn't do shit. Mm, it could just be that your body doesn't process painkillers very well. Like, I mean, I've, I, he, I don't know how to put like, it. Like, for headaches and stuff, stuff works fine. But, like, I don't, maybe it's just be, like, the specific type of, like, surgery pain. Like, I don't, I would need, like, the crazy straight up, yeah, put the fucking morphine drip in my arm and, <laughs> and maybe I'll not feel something. Which, which is the accurate way to describe that, really. <laughs> Perhaps. All right, Marith. It's it's been six minutes, and uh, I've been holding off on this for for the whole for the last few episodes. It's time for politics branch. Oh crap! What did well, AOC do now? <laughs> no, it's not AOC. It's actually what did I'm Trump going do to now? Defend Biden for a minute here. Oh fuck! What did Biden not do? Uh, Biden didn't support forced busing back in the 70s and 80s and helped to uh, make it slowly end. If you know what the term forced busing means. Is that like the Rosa Parks stuff? Or? No, no, no. This was uh, back in the... I don't know when it started. I think it started in the 70s. It might have started in the 60s. They had what you would call busing. And what they would do is they would take kids from... You know, this is back when cities were very segregated. So they would take kids from the black side of town and put them on a bus and t send them to a school in the white side of town and vice versa. Okay. Now, in some towns this works really great. And I'm like, yeah, okay, maybe maybe like Joe Biden should be ridiculed a little bit for for opposing it because it did help some kids in the city in 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 some cities like actually get ahead because the reason they would do this isn't just because they wanted to like integrate schools and say, "Okay, all our kids are going to the same school now, equality yay." It was the, the schools in the black part of town were not getting funded properly. So it was a way of saying, well, now your kids go to school in the black part of town, so you better fund them properly. Like, that was the idea. It had a lot of problems with it, though. Uh, in Las Vegas, the rich people just found ways to exempt their kids because rich people, it's, it's they like... They always do. Yeah, the rich people always find a way around. It's, it's, it's kind of like the draft, you know? Like, you can say the draft applies to everyone, but it doesn't. Like, a lot of people are like... Oh well, we should apply the draft to women, and then that'll make them end the draft because you know the rich people aren't going to want to send their daughters off to war. But you got to point out to them they're already not sending their sons off to war. What makes you think that they're gonna they're not going to find a loophole to get their daughters out of service? Exactly. Right? Like like Donald Trump didn't have to go to Vietnam. Uh, maybe maybe you should just focus on ending the draft, just like you should focus on ending segregation. In my opinion, like I do think that that busing has been effective, but like I always look at like, the first thing you look at your, is your own personal anecdote. And my personal anecdote is my brother was forcibly bused into the poor, well, into the black part of town. From the poor white part of town to the poor black part of town. So all that they succeeded in doing, because neither of these schools were getting funding, all they succeeded in doing was taking my 11-year-old brother away from his school and away from his friends to go, to, go to school with other kids that had had their friends taken away from them and replaced with this kid from another part of town. So Wait, wait, real, real quick. This was your younger brother? No, my oldest brother. The, oh, okay. This program had finished by the time that I was in, in sixth grade. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, luckily, he did not, like, get any racism, but this made a generation of Gen X racists because you suddenly had... You suddenly... You had people that got taken away from their friends and sent to another school where they got beaten up all the time because they replaced those kids as friends and they were different. Oh. Didn't really do much for, for making the school districts even out. These were both poor schools that did not get good funding. Also, we were in a county, in a county where the difference isn't that much between the poor neighborhoods and the rich neighborhoods between how good your schools are. Uh, they, they all just suck in general. Yeah, they all just suck. Uh, but yeah... 
it, it just irks me. That, I think the thing that irks me the most is the thought of me being forced to spend an hour and a half a day on buses for this program. Like, I think that's what irks me the most. It's just a waste of time of like, well, now half, now a good portion now, of my day. Now, I see day. you bringing up Norfair there, but I'm not going to Norfair. Fuck your Norfair. I just wanted to show you what possibilities lie. <laughs> that I have a lie. lot of possibilities in Norfair? Okay. Well, I'm going to go through Meridia first, okay. okay? I will bring up Meridia for you. Thank you. And and all the checks that you're going to oh, hopefully gosh. be able to do here. Are you going to be able to do the jumpy check? Well, I'm going to look at it first. And then decide whether you want yeah, to do it? Yeah, decide whether I want to try it out or not. I mean, chances are it's garbage, right? Uh, well, I don't know. You could have deliberately placed whatever's there. I mean, I could have. Yeah, you it very well could be like a medallion that I need or something. And, uh... So, yeah, that's... It's, uh... What is that? That's, that's morph bombs. bombs. No, nope, don't need it. Yeah, we can mark that as checked. <laughs> Fucking plandomizer. Yeah. Okay. Ruining my shit. I'm get those. Okay, all those other checks I can just get on my way back, so... I'll get all those other checks on my way back. Uh, all the other checks on the, you know, the the, the mappy bottom thing. End. Yeah. So yeah, it. I I really do compare it to to putting women in the draft. It is like that kind of policy, and I understand that it did work in some places successfully, and some people did have improved outcomes. But you could have also had those improved outcomes by like legally saying like, okay, every school in a school district gets the same funding. You know, yeah, like, and, and it was. I'm it's sure it was less harmful in a lot of neighborhoods where you just like this system was basically just okay. We're gonna move you two miles down the road to this other school as opposed to a half hour trip across town. Because that's what I had to deal with. Uh, how do I get diagonal from the the la on the last one? No, no, no. I mean, no, no. I want to go do checks. Hang on, I'm looking at the map. No, there's stuff down into the right that I want to go to. How do I get there? Oh, I you mean the go, uh, the turtle room? I go down into this room. Don't you want? You want? To get well, I mean, you could have gone one right, and it would have been better. But oh, okay. Because now you have to jump up this. And oh no! Go if only in, I knew how to wall jump. Go go in the center tank, which is here. This one? Okay. Yeah. So and you remember? All the way down I, I, I right. think I would have gotten this on my own. I think I remember. You would have. You would have found it eventually. Oh. I thought I. That's not I the missile the button. <laughs> uh, so it's two in this room. It's... So yeah, that, that I guess that's my rant. Like I know it's not the most popular opinion uh, today to say like no, this system was actually kind of a, like as good as it was for a lot of people. It was terrible, uh, and you've 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 taken action that caused harm to some people to the benefit of others. In a way where you could have taken a different action that would have caused just as much benefit, benefit without both. the harm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, my brother didn't get any worse in education than he was getting. He just had to sit on a school bus for an extra 90 minutes a day. You know, because you've deprived the child slow. of socialness now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had, yeah, he had less time to hang out with his friends back home, too, because he was getting home half an hour, an hour after them. Or he had play, to go to bed sooner to catch a bus in the morning. Or play video games. Yeah, or play video games. Yeah, we didn't have no iPhones. Um, is there a door over here? Yeah. It is, but it's probably not the best way to get up there. It's not bad. Okay. So. So? Just, <laughs> just You're like, what's the next topic, John? Well, I was just going to say, just fuck most of the decisions that these school districts make. They're so, so stupid. Uh, I, yeah, you should could, I go up? I'll go up first. You, you could go the grapple way. Yeah. I'm not very good at doing the other ways, so I'm going to do the grapple way. I mean, it's just a diagonal shine spark. Oh, Old, is it? Yeah. From here? Yeah. Okay, but I want to hit that center door, too. Why do you want to hit that center door? Because there's checks up to that There's direction. two this whole one? checks. Sure, go up that way. Okay. What, 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 where, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to do those two whole checks. Okay, well then you should have gone straight up instead of diagonal. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, I'll go straight up. Straight up this one? Uh, it should be that. Uh, no, I think it's that first one. Is it? Well, yeah, it's probably the first one. Alright, let's check it. And yeah, Drop it's up. this one. Yep, I just gotta please. I just gotta land on this, which is not easy. It's not that bad. <laughs> You're just bad. <laughs> I'm just bad. Oh so, well. so try again. Good well, luck. I think if I do the shine spark slightly in this direction, I don't even you might go it past head. it. Oh no, no, fail. Yeah, that's okay. I'm learning. No, you're not allowed to learn. This is yeah. this is not a learning channel. Um, and I don't want to say that I'm anti 
desegregating. Like, we have a lot of cities that are still segregated in America badly. Like, like watch the ContraPoints on on. Uh, watch all of ContraPoints, but there they she has pointed out like maps of. You look at Baltimore today, and it's the same map as it was under Jim Crow. Like the same. It has not changed. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Yeah, the you're you let me leaving. go the wrong way. I mean, you wanted to go this way, so I was like, okay, fine. I'm... Where where is it that I wanted to go? You, <sighs> there's the other check that's like two checks up there. Where where am I on the? Okay, I guess I can. You know what? I'm gonna stop and look at the map between now and next time on the branch. Okay, yeah, that sounds good.